I give a gift in my own name because I want to count and be counted. Because as a woman, I feel it's important to do so, to be a role model for my family. I want to take a stand about things that I believe in. I know that with each donation, our community grows, and with each donation, our community becomes stronger. I truly feel that each woman should have her own voice. I give a gift in my own name to Jewish Federation because it's important to me as an individual, as a woman, and as a role model to my daughters. Women's philanthropy to me really embodies the strength of women giving together uh, at whatever level. Um, we all are connected by the commonality of wanting to do good. Women's philanthropy for me is the coming together of women as donors, as leaders, and as volunteers in our community. It's a way that we can work together to have a big impact. The women's philanthropy is my very favorite thing, I think, in the world, except my family. I feel that the women's philanthropy is my family. I know the Federation takes the time to really look at all of our agencies and to look at monies going to Israel and so forth and make sure that every dollar is being spent wisely. About seven years ago, my father um, became ill with Parkinson's and um, leukemia, and he was not able to stay at home. We decided to put him into Menorah Park. Once he moved in, we were able to see that not only was he just receiving excellent nursing care, but he was able to age with the Jewish dignity that he would have wanted. It made me realize that while I didn't need Menorah Park beforehand, I needed it to be there and to be strong so that one day I would have it. We never know when we're gonna need the services of any one of Federation's partner agencies, but we need them to be strong so that they're there for us always. I recently had the opportunity a couple of years ago to travel to Beit Shan our sister city in Israel. And it was an amazing opportunity to really see our Federation dollars at work. My husband, um, when he was a child, there were some issues with his family for a number of years. He actually lived in a Jewish group home for two years that was totally funded by the Federation. And he tells me to this day that if it wasn't for the Federation, he doesn't know where he would have been during those two years as a child. I'm really passionate and inspired by the fact that the Federation not only helps Jews in Cleveland and in Israel and Jews throughout the world, but that we help people in Cleveland and Israel and throughout the world. I have felt so empowered for the, the reason that I'm a woman and that I can make this mitzvah on my own because I never felt that I was any different than a man in any sort of terms. So why would a man make a gift for me in my name when I'm able to do it in my own? My children see me stand up and talk about the things that I care about. And they see me get up and do for the things that I care about. So regardless of whether they choose the Federation or any Jewish organization as the cause that they want to be a part of, I feel good about being a role model that when you care about something, when you have passion for something, that you get up and you talk about it and you do it. It's vitally important that we instill the values of Sadaka into our children. Giving back in our community, supporting people, those are hallmarks of who we are as a family and as people. When I was 16 years old, I got a call on Super Sunday. Someone was asking me for a gift to the campaign for Jewish needs. And I put my hand over the receiver and I looked at my dad. I said, Dad, they're asking me for a gift. I'm only 16, don't they know I'm just a kid? My father said to me, whenever Federation calls, you give. Doesn't matter that you're 16, you have something to give. Give them something. And that was my first gift to Federation. I think it might have been $10. Um, of my babysitting money at the time, and um, I've been giving ever since. As a woman, you have the power to change things in the world for the better. You have the power to do it, and you should do it.